The oil spill at Refugio State Beach is a reminder of what happened two decades ago in Avila Beach. Reporter Corey James talked with people in Avila who remember the 92 spill and how it changed the community. Avila Beach, August 1992. More than 24,000 gallons of crude oil spills into the Pacific Ocean after a pipeline break. A similar spill like this one that happened Tuesday at Refugio State Beach. Though separated by time and distance, the emotions are the same. I had uh, spent summers here, I'd lived here. Jack San Filippo was a little boy when that spill happened. He remembers when the sound of the waves were masked by crews cleaning up the thousands of gallons of crude oil that flowed into the ocean. When that happened, everything changed. As a result of the Avila Beach spill, the once small bungalow town was gutted after investigation from the pipeline break led to the discovery of a series of oil leaks in the city. They pretty much bought out what they could and they uh, tore down what they could and uh, they rebuilt it into what we have today. Michael Kidd is the owner of this hotel that sits up on a hill. It's the only business that was not affected by the leaks and the only business that was not torn down. We have some uh, residential homes behind us here that were part of Old Avila. This was the only last commercial building left. Kidd says the spill at Refugio State Beach reminds him of what happened here almost 23 years ago. The real trauma for us in Avila wasn't necessarily just the cleanup, but also the long period of time it took to rebuild the community. And, uh, and also the displacement of, of, of residents. In Avila Beach, Corey Jane.